Ariana Grande and The Weeknd gets saucy in the Love Me Harder music video. Taylor Swift has a massive announcement. And we've got all of the celebrity debauchery from Halloween. All this and more on today's huge Manic Monday rundown. Manic it is. Welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Mr. Kingma, Aaron Robinson, and it is so crazy today. We have all these announcements and releases and all kinds of stuff. But don't forget, it's also Mess Up Monday. That's right. So we have that coming up later in the show. But first, it's all about Ariana Grande. <laughs> So the day is finally here. We can see Ariana Grande's new Love Me Harder music video in all of its glory, and you can too. Hey, thoughts on this one? I truly, truly loved it. You did? I really felt like the quality of the video was higher for Ariana, and yeah, she was sexy and it was dark, but I thought it was really well put together. I loved it. Yeah, super minimalist and super sexy at the same time. We're gonna walk you through a couple of our favorite moments from the video. First of all, it opens with Ari getting super sexy in a big and glamorous sandbox, which looked like so much fun. But she's on a throne. She <laughs> is on a throne, don't get it twisted. Um, and in this dark room, and she's making all kinds of sexy gestures and touching herself and making these really she does it well sexy faces yes and then I loved how they threw in all of these elements of like earth and fire and like wind and water mm -hmm. and it made it just, yeah she said that was gonna happen there was so that like was awesome. this tug of war like she mentioned love that and then we see the weekend who is inside of this like rainstorm inside and he looks very sad and like contemplative about love and Cause love is intense like this it is it can be for sure also of course, Ariana Grande gets wet and wild in this little shallow pool, which we saw some behind the scenes footage of. Right. But um, she looks so awesome. And how do they get her hair not to be soaked in that water? I don't know. Professionals. That's Pro right. Professionals. I just want to know what Big Sean thinks of the video. Um, speaking of, I could just see him all up in Ari's eyes the whole time. Speaking of Ariana Grande and Big Sean, they got even sexier this weekend for Halloween. That's right, Ariana Grande and Big Sean, they did celebrate Halloween together. So in this picture, you can see Ariana's giving us like a booty shot. She's like a sexy angel. Yes. And then in another photo, you can see that Sean was like a character from the Purge movie. Kind of random. Freaky. Really random. But even more exciting, you guys, happy birthday, Kendall Jenner. She turns 19 today. And over the weekend, she dressed up for Halloween like Mario and Luigi with Cara Delevingne. Super random choice in my opinion. I loved this choice. Yeah, but we'd have also gotten news that Kara and Kendall celebrated Kendall's birthday last night together. They had like a girls karaoke night and Selena Gomez was also there. You have to see this video. Are still friends? I didn't even know what to say about this. I mean, I don't want to dive too far into this because we have uh, yes yeah, a short show. A lot show of other to stuff do, to talk about. But oh my gosh, what has happened? Are they friends? Are they not friends? They're clearly what? friends. I'm so confused. Okay, but we gotta move on because we have a lot more awesome Halloween costumes that we have to talk about. Miley Cyrus dressed up like her godmother and idol, Dolly Parton. She looked amazing in this big wig. And you can see her with her sister. Her sister was Cher from Clueless. Uh. Super cute as well. Also, Demi Lovato and Wilmer Valderrama celebrated together. I love that they're not shy anymore. Nope, they're out and about. Yeah, so first they had these like matching Day of the Dead makeup faces. And then later we saw their costume change into Ricky and Lucy from I Love Lucy. It was perfect. I so loved it. good, you guys. And then also, Kaylee Cuoco. Now, we wouldn't normally bring her up, but she and her husband, Ryan Sweeting, dressed up like Jelena. Oh my god. And Kaylee was Justin. <laughs> Props to Ryan for that dress, that Selena dress. Like, Very very creative. Props to him for that. Yes. Okay, Beyonce, you did see that she dressed up like Janet, and we now see that Blue Ivy was MJ, so that makes so much sense. Janet so and cute. MJ together. Later, we saw that Beyonce dressed up like the Mexican painter Frida Kahlo, and she nailed it. She nailed it. And we have to mention Iggy Azalea. So she poked fun at her big feud with Snoop Dogg. Right. She dressed up like one of the girls from White Chicks, aka a black guy dressed like a white girl, except she is a white girl. Right. So she posted a ton of pictures on Instagram of it. I love that she did this. And there's also a video. Yeah. Make them away downtown. You're a 
into it. So loving <laughs> that idea, so loving it. But I also really loved Rihanna's costume. Rihanna was Raphael of the Ninja Turtles. Oh my gosh. The sexiest Ninja Turtle you've ever seen. And then she debuted it on her Instagram page, which is finally oh, you back. Guys, bad gal Riri is back, like Erin mentioned, after six sad long months, Rihanna is back. And her first picture back was this like upside down selfie where she said like, hero. And then of course she's already back to posting topless pictures, which she's is why she went off Instagram in the first place. She's posted so many pictures, like somebody needs to take her phone away from her. I think she's getting out of control. You know what I think this means is that something big is coming for Rihanna, like a new album. Ooh. And now for our favorite Halloween costume, Pegacorn, oh. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is making headlines again today because she just finally announced her world tour. Finally, I we've been waiting. Handle it. So she announced it in this very brief, um, not really much informational video, a little teaser on YouTube. Um, but we do know a couple of things about the tour. Uh, we don't know the theme, but we can only assume it's going to be retro and she's going to be doing Polaroid. most, <laughs> most of her 1989 music. Um, tickets, you guys, go on sale November 14th for the general public, but if you're a American Express card holder, Ooh, I am. you can get them in three days, which I think is like the 6th of November. We gotta so go. We gotta go together. Oh my gosh, we I'm so go. excited. We also know that um, who's opening. So Australian folky singer songwriter Van Joy will open the North American dates, and then Sean Mendez is also gonna oh, join cool. her for a couple of stops along the way. Uh, super excited for this news. But what I'm not excited about is I'm a huge Spotify listener. I know Me you too. are too. Taylor has pulled all of her music off of Spotify this weekend because I guess because she's really trying to go to break records this week for her album. She already is going to. I know. So uh, I don't know what the deal is, but she's pulled it off of Spotify, got really creative, and they made a playlist called what to play while Taylor's away. That has That's hilarious. a lot of fun. So that music. means that she's coming back. She may come back, but Hope I don't so. think it'll be back until the album sales start to really drop significantly because they're trying to make as much money as they can. Blast off! It's mess up Monday time. Honestly, my favorite part every week of DHR, no lies at all. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, Hump you day. guys. Oh, this is this. DHR, and we need some serious coffee right now. We do, but we're, we've got it all together. We're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna get, get That's okay. There was like one too many thick feet. One too just many. One too many thick feet. You can pick a thick feet now. now. And she started on this huge birthday cake in the floor, on the floor, <laughs> on the dance floor. But tomorrow's far away, so just click that box right there to catch up on Monday's show, because Mess Up Monday's in there, and that's sort of my favorite segment ever. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. All right, you guys, that is the end of our show. Sad face emoji. But uh, before you go, let us know what you thought of Ariana Grande's Let Me Hot music video. Was it good? Was it too sexy, too saucy, too dark? Oh my gosh, and I'm dying to know who is your favorite celebrity inspired Halloween costume from 2014? Mm -hmm. Leave yourself a comment. We will see them and we like responding to you guys. We do. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, Aaron and Misty. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is a day away, you guys. It's so long, but you know what? If you want more DHR, you can click in that video box right there to catch up on Friday show, which has a ton of other awesome Halloween costumes in it. And do Misty and I a huge favor and subscribe to Clever News.